Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're talking about two things. Number one, my charge port has finally, finally been fixed. This is after having 9,000 miles on it and a couple different people telling me a couple different things. So I'm gonna update you guys on that as well as update you on my new winter tire experience. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, here is Monster. Of course, she is fully clean. She or he, should I call? I never really realized if it's a he or she. I always call it Monster. Let me know in the comment section below. Do we want it to be a female or a male? Never thought of it that way. But anyways, uh, the update I wanna give you guys today is of course on the charge port. If you have not checked out my previous video, delivery day video, as well as a couple other ones, I have mentioned um, the issue with the charge port, uh, which real quick, I'll tell you again what it was. This is my passenger side. Of course, there is no charge port here, but this was nice and flush with uh, the tail light. On this side, that was not the case. And now it is actually almost fully flushed. You can hardly tell the charge port exists. And what happened was basically, I had my car in the service center to get my spoiler fix because it was starting to come off and I had finally gotten someone to agree with me that the sticking out of this charge port was not normal. So they told me to go ahead and schedule a in-home service appointment which I did. Now the story behind that is I had it set for Thursday of last week and somehow the mobile team automatically canceled my appointment, uh, sent me a message in the app and I'll try to pull up the message now if I can and, and I'll pop it on the screen basically telling me that that's normal and uh, they canceled my appointment. I was really, really bummed out about that because I was waiting for, I think, almost like four or five days for them to come out and do that. Fast forward, uh, they reschedule it because I send a message back to them in the app telling them this is not normal and the service center in Naperville told me this is not normal and can be fixed. So they went ahead and rescheduled it for later that following week and now it is fixed. What they did was they came out, opened up my trunk, undid the stuff from the inside for the tail light they were able to get in here and basically replace the door uh, of that charge port so if you were or are in a similar situation to where i was where this was not exactly flush and tesla's telling you it is flush uh, or certain representatives i should say now you guys know the truth this was not normal and now it looks far far better than it did before with my previous uh door to the charge port so that issue is resolved now let's talk about most recently fast forwarding to what happened with my rims i am still waiting for costco to call me back regarding the scratching of my rims but as far as the wheels go uh, initially when i drove home i didn't really notice much of a difference and in my video i told you guys they gripped the road really well i was happy with my drive home um, which i am still happy as far as actual winter tires go but one thing I want you to note, if you have never driven on winter tires before, they are louder. So later that evening, I went out somewhere uh, and I noticed they were a little bit louder. And I thought maybe there was something wrong with the wheels because uh, it was making more like a humming noise, like a type of noise. And I probably did a terrible expression of that, but um, they were really loud. So the next day I called Costco back uh, and they said it was normal because they are winter tires. Uh, they do grip the road better they're more stickier and depending on the outside temperature the noise levels can vary so i wanted to confirm that i called tesla the same service center and i told them that i just gotten winter tires on it and uh they're being loud and you know do i make do i need to make an appointment or is that pretty normal i explained to them what that noise was and the service center also confirmed that that noise is actually normal for the wheels now since i only have 9,000 miles on it uh, it's not an alignment issue, it's not a balancing issue because I don't, my car doesn't shake at all and it, Tesla actually recommends that you get an alignment every 12 to 15,000 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drive it through the winter like this. Uh, by the time I hit 12 or 15,000 miles, which should be again spring of 2022, I will go ahead and take Monster back and get a full alignment done. Again, no need to balance them right now because they've already been balanced when I got them first installed. So that was, that problem was taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, or at least try to uh, show you guys what they sound like 
as I'm driving uh, to give you a real life example of how loud they are inside. I'm not sure how well my camera will pick up the noise or added noise, but um, just know that uh, uh, I will try to capture that for you so you get a sense of what they actually sound like. The only other thing that I want to tell you, uh, what Tesla told me regarding the tires, one of the first questions they asked me was, did I get the tires from them? And I told them, no, I didn't because uh, they didn't have it available. She mentioned that all Tesla tires do have foam inside it. Um, and I don't know, I got to do more research on this. So if you know, please let me know in the comment section below. It seemed a bit odd. She said even the winter ones, they do have foam inside it to keep it, to make it less uh, noisy. I know the summer ones do. I can confirm the summer ones do have foam inside it. I'm not sure if the winter ones do or don't, but according to her, they do come with uh, foam inside it. Whereas if you buy tires from any other retailer, they don't have foam. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish uh, I knew that before because actually I'm not sure if that would have changed my mind as far as buying the, wheel, the, the tires separately from an aftermarket, like meaning like Costco or discount tire or uh, Bell tire or, or something like that. There's still a Michelin tire, uh, which is a name brand, but again, uh, this one does not have any type of foam inside it. So that might be why it's also uh, a little noisier than it should be. But uh, let me know what your experience has been in the comment section below. It would really help me out a lot, and I'm sure it would help out other Tesla owners as well. If you have gone through similar situations with uh, the winter tires uh, or summer all season tires. All right, let me go ahead and jump in the car. I will show you uh, what it sounds like and see if you guys can pick up a difference but let's go ahead and hop in all right guys here i am in the car i will try to capture this noise this extra noise from the winter tires um, and let's see how well this camera captures it so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, stay quiet now and uh, let the camera capture what it captures i'll try to keep my speed around 45 miles per hour so that's where i notice it the most but let's take a look Not sure again how well the camera will capture this i'll take a look at it in post and uh see how much of a difference it makes but uh, hopefully that was a good enough example to show you the noise level inside the cabin with the winter tires on my car all right guys i am back home hopefully you guys were able to pick up that noise in the camera i won't know about it until i actually go to edit my video uh, but hopefully you heard it or can at least kind of make out the difference in sound quality but if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.